Hi Dylan. Hi Carla. We just got back. Uh, well, we didn't get back. We just got to some city for the D. Capital of Uttarakhand. Derrida. 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 He knows. He knows. So we got here with the cab. And, uh, Dylan, Dylan wanted to get here as quickly as possible. Uh, it took like two hours, right? Two hours. I I say we should take the train, but you know, it would have taken like five hours. Maybe it cost like 50 cents each to get over here. Maybe. But no. I, I, got, a, I got rupees to spare. So I figured why not use them. Why don't you buy some pants with it, Dylan? I got pants. These are nice pants. Uh, they have holes in it. Uh, this one doesn't. Well, it's going to have a hole in it. I suppose that's true of anything, <laughs> such as the existential quandary of life. All right, but whatever. I mean, at least at least we had AC or something. Yeah, I don't know. Way to ruin the experience of India going through a taxi cab. Yeah, I like the streets better. We saw monkeys. We never seen those on the train. I was asleep most of the time, so. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're just waiting for our train, which will be arriving at five or so. Uh, do we have AC in there? You know anything? You know anything about this train? I do. We could have just gotten a train back to, yeah. or something like that. That's what I get for um, trusting a Dylan. You know, I just keep trusting him over and over again. Hey, that's John's fault. Look at that. John's fault. Yeah. He marked Derrida. Okay. It's probably better. John's fault. It's probably better because if we were going to board on hardware or whatever, we probably have no room there or whatever, that's depending true. on if we had a signed seat. How we have signed seats. So, yeah. it would have probably be easier over here. I don't know. But you could, you could have saved like 30 bucks. Okay, that's about it. Dylan. Standing in ants. I see one. No, you are. You oh are my dead. god, there's ants everywhere! Oh, I killed one! Oh my god, I killed another! Jesus! A terrible person. Um, so we're in New Delhi. It's around 12 o'clock. 11.35. If he wants to be exact. I do want to be exact. But, um, wait for a driver that we should have soonish. I want to go get some mango, dried mango that's over there. Maybe. It looks a little different than what we saw last time. Who knows? Um, and yeah, that's about it for now. The weather is bearable. Kind of muggy a little bit. Almost bearable for this this Jones. Um, Dylan has lost 20 pounds in two weeks. <laughs> and uh, Some people say it's because I haven't been eating or because I've walked too much, but really I have cancer. <laughs> Jeez, man. Good job. Uh, there's also been like tuk-tuks and stuff 
uh, just waiting for us. Oh, even a tuk-tuk went like right here. We moved away from the street so they stopped bothering us. And so instead they made the street over here and drove next to us. They drove right next to us. I think it was that one right there too. Something like that. They just, I don't know. I don't know. We, we bring the street to us when it, when it comes to uh, tuk-tuks or ricochets. That's about it. Still waiting.